Alvarez with the delivery in towards that near post and it's smashed in by Akanji. And that early goal that Copenhagen just couldn't afford has been conceded from the first set piece of the game. Alvarez's delivery, Akanji's finish, and Manchester City have one foot and five toes in the quarter-final of the Champions League. It's the start that Copenhagen certainly didn't want and Manchester City did want. At 3-1, you always felt that City needed a goal. And to get a goal this early on, it really is a big blow for Copenhagen. It's so easy, and yet again, it highlights the importance of set plays. Such a simple ball, and for Akanji to be able to do that at knee height, it's defensively, it's awful. Copenhagen have got to defend that better. You can't allow the ball to come across at head height. And Akanji, he's got such an easy task on the volley. It's a fantastic finish from him. And a great start for Manchester City and those fans. Alvarez with a second corner of the night. It's a hefty one towards the far post. And Rodri has hit the crossbar. Unmarked. Evading his marker. Here's Alvarez. Oh, he slipped through the hands of Grabara. What a mistake from the soon-to-be departing goalkeeper of Copenhagen. And Julian Alvarez has doubled Manchester City's advantage inside 10 minutes. It's the worst possible start for Jakob Nystrom. Copenhagen absolutely crestfallen. City delighted. Another set play, such a simple set play. Rodri finds himself in absolutely acres of space around the far post. And the mistake from Grabara, it's inexcusable. Alvarez, you can see what he's doing, he's just trying to whip that across the face of the goal. He actually probably gets it wrong, he strikes it towards the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper lacks of concentration, completely takes his eye off it, slips through his hands. Inexcusable mistake, and it's a long, long way back for Copenhagen now. Rafael Guerrero, Kane. Muller back pedals. That was Guerrero, there is Kane! Bayern lead on the night, Bayern level in the tie. Harry Kane, the difference maker. Well, who else would it be but Harry Kane? The goalkeeper, Providal, manages to get a hand to it, but Bayern Munich are just trying to, to bring that Lazio defensive line out. They're trying to move them around. Kane's involved in the, the build-up play. It's a great ball in. This is brilliant there. And the shot just, I suppose, luckily goes to Harry Kane. Well, he's not going to miss from there, is he? Gets in front of his man. Schlager. Cut out by Kroos. Break might be on for Real Madrid here with uh, Bellingham. He's only got Vinicius up with him. Rodrigo, maybe not needed. Vinicius, it's a brilliant counter-attacking goal. It's by far the best moment from Real Madrid tonight. Bellingham, the architect. Vinicius Jr., the scorer in swaggering style. And just when Leipzig were beginning to think, well, maybe, maybe we can pull off the big surprise here. Finally, a moment of real class on the counter-attack. Square pass cut out, Alan Smith. Yeah, I mean, the two star men have done the business for Real Madrid just when they needed it most. What about this, though? The way Bellingham waits, waits for the run, perfectly weighted ball. And it's been a frustrating night for Vinicius Junior, but he makes up for it here with a clinical finish to take the pressure off. Just when you were wondering which way this match was going to go. Lee Kang in with a header clear. Takakuba. Another fine save by Donnarumma. But he's beaten at last, and this joy at last for Real Sociedad. It's Mourinho that fires it in in the end. That late pressure has told and given Real Sociedad something. No offside, and when Kubo feeds the ball back in, 
The fierce cross is parried by Donnarumma. And then Marino with a left foot volley.